Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 29th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Reason to Sing, the Comforter is Near. And our scripture is Isaiah chapter 49. Sing for joy, O heavens, rejoice, O earth, burst into song, O mountains, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on them in their suffering. Yet Jerusalem says, the Lord has deserted us, the Lord has forgotten us. Never can a mother forget her nursing child, can she feel no love for the child she's born? But even if that were possible, I would not forget you. Most preachers are always on the verge of saying too much, at least this preacher, and contrary to the stereo mistype, it isn't due to being in love with the sound of their own voices. Rather, it's the excitement and urgency of communicating eternal truth to those who are eager to hear it. What God's people want is a word from their Lord, and it matters little the messenger. Hearing from heaven is the point. For the past nine months, I've felt a little pregnant. The ever-before-us specter of COVID-19 with all its malevolence has been a foreground growing fetus from hell. It's impossible to feel normal or have a routine worship service. Those of us who are impaled on the spirit of God's pulpits, called to speak his word, are compelled to face the uncomfortable truth in the room. The virus is one of those uncomfortable but unavoidable truths. And, like Paul, woe to the preacher who speaks platitudes and placebos when he should be proclaiming, Thus saith the Lord. The good news in this is that God is near to those who will hear of the uncomfortable truth, heed the words of faith, and respond to the call of the hour. According to Isaiah, God's people felt forsaken. But God reassured them they were like a babe in his mother's arms with their Lord. Babies can get frightened at a loud sound or the discomfort of a diaper long overdue to be changed. But the comforting, loving touch of an infant's mother can soothe a troubled little one. And that's the prophet's message. God is nearby. God's comforting Holy Spirit is watching over every jot and tittle of his promises. In the final analysis, there is one aspect of this pandemic season that's comfort for this uncomfortable truth. No sickness can bring enough darkness to extinguish the light of God's love. And for me, despite the discomfort within this preacher at having to talk about the conditions of the day, the comforter is near enough to keep that truth whispered in my ear, and he does. For you today... If you've really had it up to your ears and overflowing with 2020's COVID Grim Reaper, and you're so looking forward to getting on to 2021, remember, the virus doesn't have a calendar. But God does. When it comes to keeping His promises about comforting His people in their troubles, He's right on time. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.